where more than 100 people participated in the region's first freedom walk for the World Day against human trafficking. News 13's Jack Bill, you spoke to the founder of the nonprofit One Child at a Time about why raising awareness is so important. Attendees carried signs and walked around Magnolia Mall. Glenda Skipper, founder and CEO of One Child at a Time, says the nonprofit conducted a survey of more than 2,000 Florence One students after educating them about human trafficking. That survey found nearly one third of them had been contacted by a predator online. Well, our kids are suffering in silence. You know, through technology, you have predators um, relentlessly seeking to build some kind of relationship so they can start the grooming process. Skipper says in the four Four years since she started the nonprofit, she's educated more than 17,000 people. She presented awards to organizations that had taken her training, then taken action, including the Florence County Sheriff's Office and the ER team at MUSC. We gave them guidelines and assessment forms. They followed those guidelines and assessment forms and had their first rescue four days later, so I was so proud of them. She also presented an award to a Florence family that encountered a woman in distress while on a trip to the Low Country. She says that family stepped in and took her away from her trafficker. They called me up and, and said they had a victim. They drove the young lady straight to me and we we then um, helped find shelter. She says she was glad to see so many people supporting the cause and urges people to be on the lookout for the signs of human trafficking and step in. The signs of someone who's possibly being trafficked can include a lack of personal identification, cuts and bruises, confusion about where they've been and are going, and erratic body language. We just want to keep the community um, growing in their awareness of this epidemic. In Florence, Jack Billiou, News 13. Thanks, Jack. Certainly an important story. In North Carolina now, one of the state's congressmen is slamming fellow lawmakers for passing a ban on assault-style weapons. The Democrat-led House passed the measure Friday night, nearly two decades after a similar bill passed in 1994 expired. Republican 